So uh, hype is not installed on my laptop currently. So let's see, how do we install it? NPM, well, do I have NPM? Nope, do I have NVM? Nope, so I need to install NPM first. So let's look that up. Let's see, new tab. All right, uh, install NVM Mac. So is it a brew? What is it? Um, Mac OS with homebrew, yeah. Brew is the best thing I've found for these things. Brew update. Can I do that? Do I have brew? Yes, I do have brew. Okay, something's brewing. Wake me up, flow when it's done, flow. And who are these ads? Okay, did I brew? I'm still updating brew, wow. I've been off of this for a while. All right, and NVM at home, why do you have to do that? Oh, okay, dash profile. All right, install Node.js with NVM. Yep, we need to do all this, I think. Version 14, 12, 15, what node version is the latest these days? Ubuntu is at 20. Uh, that's going to take a while. Let's see. Add another tab. Um, Node.js version history. 14 is a maintenance long-term support. Active long-term support is 2021. Version 18 is current. The cask of Amontillado, donde está? Pending version 19 coming out in October, then everything will shift forward. This will become current. This will become active LTS. So should I start working on 18? Or are there things in Hypercore that won't work in 14? Let's see. What does it say here? 14 plus, okay, so hopefully it'll continue to work. All righty. Ah, homebrew, I've installed, okay, brew, uninstall node if you have to get rid of it. Brew is updating, okay. You have six updated formulae, okay. So it installed stuff, I guess, brew. Install NVM. Okay, here we go. ZSHRC for OS Catalina, that's why. But out of that, ZSHRC, are we there? ls.zshrc, nope, vi.c, zshrc. Okay, I'm just going to type this, insert export, nvm dir equals tilde, so, okay, I'm going to have to create that, dot nvm, okay, well, that's a dot directory, so source, dollar sign, brew, prefix, nvm, slash nvm dot sh, escape, I do ZZ. So, so dot NVM. Oh, okay. So I do have to do it here. All right. Make dir tilde slash dot NVM. Okay. Follow instructions. Then buy 300 bucks of stuff. All right. Source. Now I have to bring it in. Uh, that I don't need. From the next login, do I have to do this source? Uh, tilde slash dot ZSHRC. Yeah, don't follow instructions as written. Think about them. Okay, let's install node. Okay, NVM LS remote. Whoa!
14 or above. And what does it say here? I want latest is gallium. Mm. What do I, what did I see here? 16 is active LTS. That's what I want. All right, 16.6. .6. Okay. Um, NVM install node. Okay, downloading 18. So I got the latest and greatest. And I want to do NVM install 16. Okay, 16.16. .16. All right. And now let's do that. NVM LS, and we have two. Oh boy. 16 is gallium, fermium. Oh boy. We got to get to mitnarium. Mit that would be nice. Okay. And NVM use 14 or NVM use 16. Yay. That's nice. Conclusion. Okay. So this page was here. So I can't use a whiteboard while I'm sharing. So what do I do? Share. So I put a notepad up there. That's what I'll do. A text edit. You have to say new document. All right. So that is uh, the page with homebrew. So I'll have to add notes to this video. So we'll call this show notes. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll put this link to Node.js version. All right. Let's see. Releases. Is this a good one? Yeah. That's a nice picture. Okay. So we'll call this uh, installing NVM and Node. And this one here. Okay. And this one, install Hypercore protocol. Let's try this. Now, where am I? I want to be in documents. Hype. And okay, I could remove NVM. RM for NVM. And let's do um, npm install minus g at hyperspace slash CLI. Magically it goes to the windowsill. Global and local are deprecated. I mean, the world is deprecated. <laughs> Ideal tree, readable stream, reify. I need a reification. Cross spawn, I don't do that. <laughs> Data encoding package no longer supported. Contact support. Oh no. Data encoding 5.0.2. Hyperdrive. Fetch me my hyperdrive. Okay. NPM audit me. Six vulnerabilities. Four low, two moderate. Hmm. Okay, fine. NPM audit. <laughs> yeah, don't break anything, please. All right, now what could I do? Getting started using hyperspace. Okay, so does the hype daemon work now? Daemon, start. Hyperspace daemon is running. Hype ls. I thought I did that. The daemon is not active. It says it's running. Do it to do something funky here. It will manage a couple of hype daemon status. Yo, daemon. Have to log out. Let's just try this exit. Start up another terminal. Okay, so 
when you get stuck on a problem, you go to Google and look for something that seems to have an answer to it. And this is a GitHub for Hypercore protocol, which is an issue. And uh, when I click this, it says it's a issue number 52. And here is someone describing the same problem I'm having. The daemon is not active. And people are encountering it on all kinds of machines and Mac OS. Okay, so the workaround was to install it directly, run the daemon directly in the foreground using hyperspace. And uh, let's see. Okay, it fixed hype daemon status, but these others that I need are not working. Okay, so people agree they have problems. I guess this has something to do with the address not being hole punchable. That's an example. Let's see, when trying to do this, the first terminal would log remote client open, remote client closed. Okay. Um, downgrading to node 14 seems to work. So is it a node 16 problem? Can't create hyperdrives. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's version 17. Uh, so they want people to try downgrading. So here's Specious who actually came up with uh, a resolution. The daemon is not active when running anything other than hype daemon or hype beam because hyper.setup fails. So in hype.js, it tries to set up the daemon and then, yeah. Please run. Okay, so this is the error message that you get um, that we've seen. It fails because it fails to connect to either hyperspace or the mirroring service. And let's see, what is this? Setup client, new hyperspace client. All right. So see these arrow notations, you got to figure out what they mean. It's like, it's new to me. I, I mean, I've seen it, but getting my brain around it is tricky. All right, NPM. So you install hyperspace and hyperspace mirroring service, and then you run them individually, and then you can run hype info. So that's a workaround. And uh, he added a commit to fix this issue. And that's what open source is like. Um, you make a change, and what he did was standard IO ignore, detach true, Okay, so, oh, we put a comma. That, that's why that line. So it's a one line change he made to um, code to fix something, but now it has to be approved by the maintainers of the code base. Okay, so other people are doing that. He's asking people to check out this pull request. So a pull request is when you request the uh, person who owns the repository to take your changes in. And he says, I'm slightly perplexed as how this used to work, but testing shows the daemon process has a tendency to terminate if they're launched without disconnecting their standard IO from the parent process. So it's a conflict over some resource internally. The fix works without it, CLI doesn't work. A new release would be nice. Yes, we want, because then I wouldn't have been through this whole problem here. What's the easiest way to test it locally? So here's the instructions on to pull this fork. You'd have to build it yourself using specious as code. And this person tested it and he put the PRs into a branch so you could test it by pulling a branch, okay? And then check that. So you'd pull this into your own code and you'd have to compile the code yourself. And um, it's hard getting the attention of people who can validate that fix. And here's an explanation. We've been focused on making the latest hypercore and hyperdrive in the next repos. So take a look at those. They'll be deprecating the daemon when those land. So the work I've been playing with the with the current hyperspace daemon, it's going to change to something new. So any code that I've written previously, like with the CLI, I'd have to upgrade that code. It's a never-ending upgrade cycle. Okay, embedded workflows. You don't need a daemon at all, which is nice. Okay, so we're getting rid of the daemon. 
That's quite exciting, but merging this pull request would fix the version that people are currently trying to use. Okay, so, I mean, I played with the hyperspace demon a year or two ago and made some videos. That was like a COVID <laughs> isolation project for me to play with that. So let's just try that workaround, which I had to go back here. Um, it's these commands. So let's bring up a console. Okay, so I had a downgrade node to version 14, and now I have a hypercore daemon running. Status is um, hole punchable. You can punch holes in me now. All right, now uh, hype. Um, info, I'm not hosting any hypercores on here. And um, hype ls, I need to provide a URL. So what do I have here? I have my hyperdrives.txt. All right, so let's see, find something. And let's try this, hype ls control v. And look at that. I can download my videos. So let's download DND &D dice. Okay, but let's do this. Let's get the ls minus r. So hype hat this slash ls minus lr dot text. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what I was doing between December and January. So in February, I uploaded them. <clears throat> so I can do this to a file. Okay, and now I can cat my ls minus lr dot text. And now let's do a sync. Let's make a directory videos. Okay. <clears throat> CD videos. And let's do a hype diff from this drive to my local. So it's going to add all these files when I commit it. So I add a minus C, and I'm committed. So now it's getting these four videos from the PC on my local network, which is a Linux box hosting the HyperCore protocol. So I am communicating now with that box. And in a minute or two, it will arrive. And look at that. I'm almost done. MKV is coming down. Let's see, can I look at the size? There's a list. 63 megs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're loading today at 3.56 p.m. And it's done. And it updated the dot, the timestamps properly. Isn't that cute? So, Ted, um, I want to first thank you for communicating your ideas very thoroughly that we can dig, dig, dig deep into them and take them forward and teach them to people. Um, my question is, is it possible to prioritize your innovations in terms of what we should work on first, or bring forward, or you need them all at once? I, I have no idea because yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. <clears throat> what, uh, again, uh, please go to xanadocom slash demo and yeah. play with that. Yeah, I do have an exhibit with your demos running, so if anybody wants to come and see oh. it. Yeah. Welcome to the DZEZ Show, episode three. In this show, we're going to explore the GitHub, the initial GitHub repository for DZEZ. But first, I want to show you some things in the HyperCore protocol.